What is up guys, Jav here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in our video today, we're taking a look at a great cheese for this week's Grandmaster Nightfall. So if you're struggling to get this one done for your Conqueror title, then this will be the video for you. Now if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Now alongside the launch of Season of the Worthy, we recently got an update to Nightfalls and specifically the launch of the Grandmaster Nightfall and this in itself brought a new seal called the Conqueror. Now in order to complete this seal, you need to complete all six of the Grandmaster Nightfalls currently available within the current season. Now this week's Nightfall brings us Exodus Crash. Now for some, this is proving to be very difficult, especially at the final encounter. But in today's video, we have a great little cheese spot reminiscent of some of the D1 days where we can easily defeat the boss and complete this week's Nightfall. Now, as always, credit where credit is due and a massive shout out to AX7 over on Twitter, who is part of the Be Bold Destiny clan, and he highlighted this on Twitter. So massive shout out to him. I'll leave a link to the Twitter post in the video description below. Now, as the post correctly says, this is possible on Warlock and a Hunter. For a Warlock, you're going to need your healing nade. So you're going to be a top tree Dawnblade for this one. And if you're a Hunter, then you need to equip your high jump and some stompies and you'll be able to easily access the same area. Much like AX7, I haven't been able to validate titans to this point although a high mobility build with lion rampants possibly could make it to the same area if needed now this particular cheese is located in the final arena so up until this point you'll need to still work through the rest of the grandmaster nightfall with your fire team but as you make your way to the final boss room be sure not to drop down and start defeating any of the ads which may start the encounter there's a few key steps we need to follow in order to get into the right spot now in this particular run I'm running on my warlock but as you make your way towards the final door before the boss encounter you'll enter this massive cylinder. Now before dropping down you need to consume your grenade and this will give you heat rising which will help you reach greater heights which are super beneficial for the cheese spot. And once you've consumed that nade, you want to jump up directly above and over to the left hand side. And what we're doing here is essentially jumping on top of the door frame. Now, at this point, it's important to note that you should not move from this area. If you go up any higher and start the boss encounter, then you will get a joining allies prompt. And this is because the game is identifying you as being outside the arena when you start it. So be sure to go no further at this point and be sure to wait for the rest of your fire team to arrive. And once everyone is in the arena, either on the same platform as you or down below, once the final encounter begins, you are free to jump up to this final platform. This will take you out of the reach of pretty much most of the ads in the arena, but also give you much more room to move around. Now from here, you have a great vantage point with any long range weapons. Divinity is still very useful, but bear in mind there are some barrier champions in here during the Grandmaster version. So you will need to be running something like Ariana's Val to make sure you can still take their shields down at distance. So there we have it guys, that is the cheese spot for this week's Grandmaster Nightfall, the Exodus Crash. And be sure to utilize rifts in this location too to offer yourself some extra protection. But there we have it guys, if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel and be sure to share with your friends. And if you are new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.